So MailChimp lets you publish digital ads on social media right from within your MailChimp account. This is helpful because you can target people in your audience or target segments or specific people in your audience or even, and I think probably most powerfully, target people who are similar to your audience or similar to a segment of your audience. Say you want to target people who are similar to buyers in your MailChimp account, in your audience, then you can do that through digital ads. So let's walk through how to create a simple digital ad. So in our MailChimp account, we're going to click create, create an ad. For this example, I'm going to walk you through creating a Facebook Instagram ad. You can also create remarketing ads. Those require a ton of setup. I'm not going to teach that in this course. I'm just going to teach the Facebook Instagram ad. That's the one that most people use anyways. So let's just go example Chimperoo ad. Click begin. So here, this looks a lot like creating a campaign, right? So it's fairly similar to that, except we're creating an ad. So here we can edit the channel. We're going to run this ad on Facebook and you can pick the newsfeed or audience network. And on Instagram, you could show it on Instagram too. Let's show it on both places just for this example. We'll click save. So here's where most of the cool work happens. We're going to click edit audience. Now here we have several options. We can find people similar to our list. Our list has to have over 500 contacts. This example list doesn't. You can pick contacts. So you can say, I want to choose the list. I want to send this. I want to share this with people on the list. And then I can say, I want to share this just with people who are unsubscribed. Maybe I'm trying to win them back. Or I can share this just with non-subscribe people. Or I can share this with different demographics or different tags. Sky's the limit here. So we can also create a custom audience. So target people by state, city, or zip code. And we can also target people by website visits if we have connected our site and added the MailChimp code to our website. So for this example, let's just target contacts who are unsubscribed and click saved. So now we've created an audience for this ad. The budget, let's just leave it at $5 for now. And now let's add some content to it. So we're going to add an image here, click browse. We can upload one or choose an existing one. So we'll add a, a link. And then we'll add a description. So here, because we're targeting people who have unsubscribed, we're going to try to win them back with an ad. And we can add a, a personal a personal message above it. I would add better content than this. This is just an example. We're going to click save and close. Oh, I need to add a button. We're going to add a sign up button because we're trying to get them back on the list. We'll click save. So here we go. Here's what this looks like on mobile. Here's what this looks like on desktop. Here's what this looks like on Instagram. That all looks great. So what we're going to do is click submit ad. We're going to, I can't do this right now because I haven't added payment information because this is a teaching account. But if you click confirm order, they have to approve the ad. But once the ad is approved, it will show up under campaigns and you'll be able to see reports on it. So that's how you create an ad for Facebook or Instagram right within your MailChimp account. Thanks for watching.